ancient frame of masculinity. One idea from chemistry or quantum mechanics based on your point of view is the Pauli exclusion principle. No two electrons in an atom can have the identical quantum numbers, spin, orbit, etc. This means that every single electron in an orbit is unique. Unique based on their hierarchical position within the atom. Quantum is based on the same root as the word quantity, which is related to the word count. What this means is that the levels of a potential electron orbital state are countable or hierarchical, like levels in a video game or stairs going uphill or positions within a company. What does this mean? This means that inside any relationship there are tons of ways to measure the relative hierarchy. Imagine two friends in a bar flipping through the channels. If they happen to be watching hockey, one guy is going to know hockey a little bit better than the other guy. They won't have identical levels of hockey knowledge or interest. Or if they flip to a music channel, one guy is going to more likely be the musical expert than the other guy. And when it comes to romantic relationships, this is much more pronounced. Ideally, man and woman get together like yin and yang. Both males and females have strengths and weaknesses. In an ideal relationship, men and women complement each other. But Critically, there is the idea of who is chasing whom. Based on our evolution, our instincts, and how we were calibrated, women follow men. Right off the bat, this sounds misogynistic. And it absolutely is if you assume that just because you're a man and she is a woman, she must follow you. Way back in our past, men followed wealth, or literally chased it, pursued it with all their might. Wealth, of course, were huge animals and all the potential meat. The dudes were always out chasing wealth, since back then, wealth was migrating, and the women and the kids and everybody else followed the dudes. This idea exists in our deep instincts. Consider that as a modern male, it is not a woman's job to follow you or fall into your frame just because you're a dude. It is your job to build such a compelling frame that she can't resist following you. How do you do this? First, by not competing in the resume game. Looks, money, clothing, career, car, house, etc. Things you can put on a resume or on an online dating profile. What to do instead? Two things. One, understand and manage your own ego. Two, understand and leverage her ego. Build up her ego the right way and strong enough and her ancient femininity will wake up and eagerly and enjoyably follow your ancient masculinity. To learn more, visit mypersuasion.com forward slash 3x3.